Okay, I just got this uh, DeWalt cutoff saw, and this is one of the ones that uses a carbide blade. It's a DW872. I also bought an extra blade for it, so when one blade's dull, I can have it sharpened and still use it. And the problem I'm having with these kind of cutoff saws that use these blades is the blade wanders around a little bit, especially if you're cutting 45s and I got a big gap to weld up on the other side. These cutoff saws with a carbide blade are not supposed to do that. And what I want to do is build a stand for this with wheels on it. And I want to make it to where this part right here is just a little bit higher than this welding table so it'll catch the pieces that I'm cutting off. Then I'll use the roller stand on the other end. Yeah, and here's the roller stand I made in another video. So the first part to making a stand is to make the top plate. And I'm going to make it where the saw just sits in there where I can put either one of the saws in it. Yeah, I got the top piece cut out. This is quarter inch thick. The scrap metal yard had this, a bunch of this used real cheap the last time I was there, so that's what I had. And there's going to be a piece sticking up all the way around, and it's going to drop off a little bit on the front to clear that handle where that saw will just fit down in there. Okay, I got all the pieces cut out. Now I'll weld all this together. Okay, I got the top part all welded together. Now I'm going to sandblast it. Here's what it looks like with the saw in here and the handle clears. And both of these cutoff saws will fit in here. That's why I had to drop the front down even a little bit more because the other handle comes closer. And there's no way it's going to fall out of there like that because I'm not going to bolt it down. And I took and uh, drilled two holes in here so maybe some of the metal shavings will fall out. Hey, this part's going to be the base that goes against the ground. I've got it all tack welded together now. I just need to finish welding this. Okay, I got it all uh, welded. Now what I have to do is grind this flat because the wheels are going to go there. And I ground a groove in there before I welded it. And I also have to weld a piece in the corner so the wheels will mount on there right. Yeah, I got these pieces welded in there. Part of it I ground a groove in it because I'm going to grind part of it flat, but the rest of it I don't have to grind much of this. Yeah, it's only going to go that much onto it. Yeah, I got the casters welded on there. Now I have to space the axle up a little bit to make this sit level. Okay, I got the axle all welded on here. And I went uh, 30 inches on this base. It's going to be real heavy and when I put heavy pieces of metal on there, there's no way it's going to get knocked over. On a bandsaw stand, I only want uh, two foot on the base because it's real light. Yeah, the hard part when you're doing this when the top's smaller than the uh, base is getting everything lined up right. What I did is took a 4x6 and I screwed two 2x4s uh, two on it to get it at the right height. Yeah, I took and uh, welded two pieces of rebar on there temporary just to hold it kind of where I want it. Now I'll make the other pieces to weld in there. Yeah, I got all the pieces welded in there. Now I just need to take it, take those pieces of rebar off and finish welding everything. Okay, I got it almost done. I just put the handles on here. This, this cutoff saw has this clamp on it. And I put this piece of pipe here for it to go. I'm not using it. Yeah, what I ended up having to do is, when this was on the bench, I measured everything out a whole bunch of times and everything appeared to be straight. But when I got it down the floor, I could fit, see that it was off a little bit. So I cut it off at three of the legs, heated it up and twisted it a little bit to get everything to line up right. Yeah, when you make the bottom base bigger than the top, it's hard to get everything lined up right. Yeah, I got it just about finished. About all I have left to do is just to paint it. Yeah, and here's what it looks like with the cutoff saw in there. Yeah, and this is the paint that I've been using to paint all my uh, projects with. It's from uh, O'Reilly's. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's all finished.